with a name like Noah, uh, you either better be building an ark, or you better be uh, a leader. And that, that's certainly what he has been in his time here. Uh, he's been a leader on the golf links. He's been a leader in the classroom. Uh, and he's been a leader in organizing student athletes. Uh, and so if you would please welcome Noah Shaker. honored and humbled to be staying in front of you today, along with my fellow graduates. You know, I've always been told that college would fly by faster than I do, and I can safely concur with that statement now. To my fellow athletes in front of me, congratulations. What you guys have achieved on and off the field the past four to five years is nothing short of remarkable. And everyone in this room, from your parents to coaches to administrators, can all back me up when I say that. You know, it really does seem just like the other day that I was taking the nine-hour drive up here from California, moving into the Barnhart dormitory, excited and nervous to start this brand new adventure. Not knowing many people in the dorms, I found out that most people I would meet there and become close with were you guys, the student athletes. This is when I began to realize the family aspect of Oregon athletics that everyone talks about is actually a very real thing. Getting through the rigors of college especially as an athlete, is not easy by any means. But getting through it with all of you along for every step in the way did make it that much better. From riding the EMX bus from Barnard to campus to getting treatment at the CAS and then taking classes together, we really have been through a lot. I hope you know that this tight-knit community of athletic staff, coaches, and student athletes is seldom found anywhere else in the country. You have coaches who are constantly pushing you way past your limits because they all see the potential you have. You've got trainers who are there to nurse you back to health when you actually were pushed past those limits. And you have academics and student athlete development staff that help guide you through this journey while trying to open up as many doors for you as possible. And lastly, you have each other, your friends, your teammates, this family, who you could always turn to when things got tough. We've all been truly blessed to experience it and the Oregon family is a family that you will all be a part of forever. But now is the exciting part. We're all of us have to make the next big decision. What are we going to do next? You know, for some of us, we have jobs lined up. Some of us are turning pro in athletics. And some just have no clue right now, which is totally fine. As the great Yogi Berra once said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> and there, there is a lot of truth to that statement. A lot lies within the confidence we have in ourselves as people, and I'm here to tell all of you in front of me graduating that you should have all the confidence in the world. Just know that whatever fork in the road you do take, you will be more prepared for it than you know. The life of a student athlete is not one that many people have the luxury of living out, and yes, it is a luxury. You've all had the luxury of waking up at 5.30 in the morning to get to practice. You've all had the luxury to travel for the bulk of your seasons, missing classes, and piling up more makeup work than you know. And you all have the luxury to deal with your coaches when things aren't going well. And most importantly, you have the luxury of trying to balance what feels like the entire weight of the world on your shoulders almost every day. And I say that these are all luxuries because they've all made each and every one of you better because of it. All of you can confidently now call yourselves experts in time management, problem solving, and critical thinking. There's so many life skills and intangibles you've all picked up here, for, here from being a student athlete, the list really could go on and on. But as you face your next challenge in life, don't forget that feeling you had during your freshman year. The feeling when it all felt scary, new, and exciting, all wrapped into one. When you open those numerous amount of bags with gear and Nike squishes and organos on them. When you felt that you'd already accomplished this incredibly lofty goal, of becoming a Division I college athlete in the Pac-12. So what was going to stop you from achieving anything else you set your mind to? Find that sense of optimism and belief again as you lost it, because it will always be there. You all have the preparation you need for so many different walks of life. The University of Oregon and the greater area of Eugene have molded you into the person you are today for exactly all the right reasons. So I wish all of you nothing but the best in life. And once again, to the class of 2015, Congratulations. Now the fun starts. Go Ducks.